Welcome back to Mason's ADV. Ride along with us as we explore off the beaten path, head out for some adventure bike camping, and keep you updated on modifications and new gear for adventure riding. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any adventures. Glad to have you along for the ride. Well hey guys, Mason here. And today we're going to have a look at my Shoei Hornet X2. As some of you know, in the spring of the year, or in the fall of last year rather, I had decided it was time to upgrade my helmet and began the search for a new dual sport helmet. Uh, that included a lot of online shopping, a lot of reading reviews, and I had come down to uh, the Climb Cryos and the Arai dual sport offering, and the Shoei was a solid third at that point. Um, all three of them have the flat visor that I'm looking for here. Um, because I ride with my visor up a crack, I don't want to look through a molded bottom rolled edge. Uh, so the three of them fit the bill there. They all have great reviews. They're all quality helmets. But the three of them do all fit very different. And um, so after ordering in the Climb Cryos and trying it on uh, and the Arai, the Arai gave my head shape a bit of a pressure point right in the front of the forehead, unfortunately. Uh, when the climb arrived and I was able to try it on, I found it very comfortable. I think it fits very similar to the Shoei. The problem with the Arai for, or with the uh, climb for me was its price point. Now, if I was going to buy a transition lens for the Shoei, the two of them would sort of be apples to apples. Um, but because I just run either a clear or a tint, um, I really struggled with paying for a transition lens that I wasn't likely going to use. Uh, and you're up here in Canada at that point, w w you were you were north of a thousand dollars too, and and so it just kind of makes you go, hmm, for something that could end up hitting the dirt, sort of you know your first or second ride with it. Um, now the Shoei and the Arai are not inexpensive helmets either, but I th I know that you're paying for quality, and that's worth something. But it, you know, it was two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollars less uh, for something that I think is very similar, uh, certainly in protection level, and um, and just just didn't come with the transition lens. Anyway, so when I went down to the show in January, uh, I was able to try on the Showy. Actually, it was Melon One that said you got to try on the Showy because he's been riding with one for several years now. And, uh, and he has, you know, he has nothing bad to say about it at all. It's been a fantastic helmet for him. So I threw one on and sure enough, it fit like a glove. Very comfortable uh, at the show, especially with the discounts, the price was right. So I ordered one up and came home and uh, waited for it to arrive. So it came in the mail and uh, I very quickly got myself into a bit of an unboxing. Now, one of the nice things about the Shoei is the fact that it, you can order different size replacement liners. And that became a really big deal when this helmet first arrived. When I had tried it on down at the show, it seemed to fit okay. Now, I don't know if that's because it was the show model and a thousand people had had their heads in it already, but when this one arrived and I put it on, it felt really snug in the same size that I had ordered at the show. Um, not, I, like I said, I don't know why that is, but I was seriously concerned. As a matter of fact, if you ask the guys, they'll tell you that in the spring, this one sat on the shelf for a couple months while I was wearing my old helmet, uh, just because it, I was concerned with how tight it was. It really wasn't very comfortable. Um, so I got online and found that Shoei actually has a replacement program for those pads. Now, I didn't have time to take advantage of that because I wanted to get out with it and the trip was coming and, and I just wanted to uh, get on the road so I just ordered smaller smaller liner pads for in here and that made all the difference in the world all of a sudden it was very easy to pull on very easy to take off and as it broke in and now now it's actually perfect but what I was finding was that the larger pad in here made this opening so small and I've got a bit of a big melon and uh, 
I was really struggling to get that helmet on and off, uh, you know, without it ripping my ears off. So changing those pads out really helped. It uh, made all the difference, actually. I likely would have had to have returned it without that option. Um, so that's a plus, being able to order those as you go. So if you get one and it's a bit tight, that certainly is an option. The other thing that I noticed, another huge pro that I noticed riding with it this season is how well this helmet ventilates. Now, those of you that do some vlogging will know that with your microphones up in the, up in the chin bar, we typically have to run with this um, chin vent closed, which is also why I tend to run with my visor up a crack, let some airflow in. Up in here it has vents which are closed right now but typically in the in the summer are open and that helps move air around too but it's this one up in here I don't know if you guys can see that this one up in here and that actually tunnels air right back and forces it down into the top of the helmet and it's just like a wash over the top of your head and then of course everything exhausts out these back ports here so I have to say that it is absolutely amazing in the heat that wash of cool air down over the top of your head is just absolutely fantastic so i have nothing but good to say about the ventilation the visor although not adjustable is just about in the perfect position if i could set it myself i would set it right where it is it's there you can see it when you look out of the visor but it's not in the way and a very simple tip of the head down when you're riding into the sun um, or when a Triumph Tiger 900 is in front of you throwing roost back just tip your head down and that that roost shield or visor is uh, It works. It's it's actually not just for show. It works great. I use it all the time It's a fantastic addition riding in the morning or at night, especially when you're headed into the Sun Now there are a ton of reviews on this lid online uh, so you guys can go and check those out as far as manufacturing techniques and and the safety measures but it is DOT and Snell approved it's really well built and uh, and I have actually been very happy with it so I have now ridden with it all season um, I was able to take it on the trip now when I go away I take the tinted visor off obviously and I throw on my clear because we'll ride in the morning and late at night when it might be dark um, but around here during the week, I tend to run a tint visor. It works really well for me. Nice to have that little bit of extra tint. Um, visors are readily available. They're easy to change. You just pop these tabs here and push down on the back and snap the visor forward, pull it off. And then under here, once you tip this up, there's just two quick connects and the visor pops off. It's a little fiddly. It's not quite that simple as you guys know, if you've had any helmet before um, but it does snap back in nice visor goes back on and you're and you're ready to go it doesn't take long and these are nice because you can turn them with your fingers you're not searching in your pocket for a coin I can say that I am very happy with it after the season it has broken in nicely it's very comfortable I forget that I even have it on it's not the lightest helmet available on the market I'm sure that that still goes to the climb cryos uh, but I, I actually, I don't mind. I don't notice it. I, when I put the climb on, it is remarkably light, and that's for sure. But I think, I don't know. I haven't ridden with one on the street, so I don't know. But uh, I can say that the Shoei, with its bit of weight, is very stable at speed. It's a great helmet. It's a, it's a great um, match for the KLR, the way the wind comes up and hits the visor. For me and my height, everything, everything's good. Everything works really well. It has been excellent. Um, the fit and finish has stood up over the year. Um, you know, there's been a lot of rocks tossed at it. Uh, it gets cleaned all the time because of the bugs and the mud and the dirt. And every time it comes out looking okay, as you just see right there. Looks good. Fits well. Very comfortable. The flat visor is an absolute must-have for me. The vented roost deflector is great as far as airflow goes lots of ventilation down washing through the head removable washable and exchangeable inside cheek pads and the price point was right at the show 
So there you go guys, that's my, <laughs> I guess that's my review of the Shoei X2 for what it's worth. But I can say that I'm, I'm very happy with my decision. And uh, if you guys try one on and it fits you nice, uh, and it's the most comfortable on your head of, the, of those three, I don't think you can go wrong. If it's uncomfortable, one of the other shapes will likely fit you better. So go ahead and try those on for sure. Um, where I started thinking I was going to end up versus where I ended up are two very, very different things, even though I had tried them on prior. But it just, it's amazing. You, got, you have to try them on. Try one on, find one that fits you, and go with that. There you go, guys. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I appreciate all the support. Um, those of you that have bought us a coffee here recently, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's absolutely fantastic. And of course, a huge thank you goes out to my patrons um, over on Patreon. So thank you again, guys. Take care, have fun, have a great weekend, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Hey guys, if you liked that video, hit the thumbs up button for us. It goes a long way towards helping out the channel. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button in the upper corner for new videos every Sunday. Be glad to have you along for the ride. Free.